Brian K wrote us the following, work on your kicks and banks, make sure you do your best to not give your opponent's ball in hand after a safety. Uh, I definitely agree to that. Granted, there's a lot more that's gonna come into play to, for you to go from a five to a six than just banking kicks, but it is definitely something we need to cover because in my opinion, a lot of those players, they sort of have an understanding of how it works, but they don't have the full details. So let's really look into how to kick and banks. The first off, let's define what a kick and what a bank is. So a kick is when you shoot the cue ball, one rail, and then it's gonna go and make an object ball. A bank is when you shoot the cue ball into an object ball, and then it's gonna make it in the, in the pocket. So now that we've defined the terms, how does this work? So I like the mirror image system. Granted, there's many, many more systems. I've done a lot of tutorials in that in the past. We've done a bunch of them uh, with pool docs. So if you wanna look in my YouTube channel, you have much more in-depth tutorials as far as kicking and banking. And uh, you guys are more than welcome to go and expand your horizon on it. So uh, the mirror image system, pretty much the easiest one to explain. Uh, it's very instinctive. Basically, if we're to divide the distance that we have here, so this distance equal this distance, pretty much, if we put a cue straight up, it gives us the point for us to hit. It also, if I grab an extra two cues, here we go, the angle that the cue ball enter is going to be the equal opposite of the angle the cue ball exit, right? This is the theory. Now, we're gonna demonstrate that. Basically, we can also look on this side of the table. So here we have a one diamond distance. This is another diamond distance. Imagine there's a diamond here. Imagine just the wood keep going. Here's your diamond. So now we have two diamonds. So the easy part is I simply have to divide two, uh, two diamonds divided by two, and it gives us one here. So we're just gonna aim the first diamond there. And as you can see, it is spot on. So obviously, this is pretty simple. It's a very easy angle. I'm gonna move out there. Now we got not two, but like one, two, three diamonds. So three diamonds. My half is one and a half, so there we go. As you can see, it's spot on. And obviously we can keep going. So I'm gonna go just one more here uh, to show you that it still works. Now, the only difference is the further out you go on the table, the firmer a little bit you gotta hit it because naturally the ball will just sort of you know, go wide. Now, Keep in mind also table plays a difference, but we're gonna approach that in the second point there. All right, so there we go. So we have one diamond, so one diamond distance, two diamond, again, if you remember the pocket counts as a diamond here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? So six divided by two is three. One, two, three. Here we go, this is my three. So again, I'm gonna hit this a little firmer than I've been doing there before, but it should work pretty much dead on. There we go, so this is uh, pretty simple as far as kicking, and that works on the other side of the table. That works a little bit everywhere. Remember, it's just the entrance angle is the equal opposite of the exit angle. Now, banking is pretty much the same. So if I were to set up a ball here, for example, Right, This angle that I'm gonna get started with is gonna be the angle I'm gonna get at the exit. So again, here, pretty simple. Right, so you can't miss it. Now, the wider the angle becomes, the more it becomes sort of a problem, right? So you gotta make sure you kinda see it. This one should be right on as well. There we go. So now that you know that it works both for kicking and banking, it's all nice and easy because the two balls are on the same line. What if this cue ball, for example, is up here? Or what if this ball is up there, right? So let's start with the five ball being there, for example. All right, so the, this one, it takes a little getting used to it, but uh, once you understand the concept, it works pretty well as well. So by now you know that you need a horizontal line and then divide the angle to make it easy. So let's say we had this line, right? Okay, so this is my horizontal line. It's gotta be pretty close to actually good. Then you pretty much have to go backward a little bit and you gotta find the projection of your cue ball 
into this line. Now, if the angle is small, projection is going to be very narrow. It's going to be very easy. Now, the more the angle is out, the more the angle is big, the more complicated it's going to be for you to find a projection. So in this case here, we have that. I'm going to grab those two cues again because I think this is really going to help us to see it. So if I take one angle and I'm going to guess approximately here, right? I'm going to go for one and a half just because I think it could be close. So if I go there, right? Okay, so this will be my angle. My cue ball is not on that cue line that's projecting there, right? So I don't have the right angle. So I'm going to go with less angle. Here, let's go here. Oh, look at this. In this case, my cue ball is, well, I'm going to move it a little bit here, but it's right under that cue line. So if I took the cue ball at the intersection here, that would have worked. So my cue ball being here, it's projected in front into the horizontal line, and here we go. So we have our point as far as the kicking go. All right, so I didn't touch it. Living there, I know where my point is. I'm going to move those two cues out of the way. And here we go. We're just going to hit it. Now keep in mind, this also works with the reverse thing. So let's say now this time we had our two ball here and our cue ball there. Well, it's exactly the same concept, but this time we project the cue ball towards the bottom of the table rather than the top of the table. Again, works just as well for bank. And uh, this is pretty much the theory of the mirror system for kicking and banking. <laughs>